So there is no shortage of extremely powerful weapons in Borderlands 3 with quite a few of them being downright overpowered. I have played for over 100 hours at the maximum level, I have tested hundreds of weapons and I constantly find myself running with the same number of them because a few of them are downright broken or are extremely fun to play with. So in today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you some of the best weapons and items that I have found to be probably the best at the end game, and I have used them with amazing success especially against fighting bosses on Mayhem 3. So we are going to jump right in with the guide but do keep in mind that there are going to be slight spoilers in the game especially in terms of some of the end game maps and fights so you have been warned proceed at your own risk. Now I'm going to start things off with one of my favorite weapon categories and these are the pistols and there's a couple of examples over here that I constantly find myself using especially in terms of Jacob's revolvers. I believe that these are some of the most powerful weapons in the game but the first one that I have well the first couple of examples that I have as a matter of fact are King's Call and Queen's Call. I have covered these in the past if you saw my previous videos and spoiler alert both of these drop from Tyrene the Destroyer and Destroyer's Rift. The beauty about these is that not only are they Jacob's revolvers but they also come in with a very powerful bonus over here which makes that critical hits return three bullets to your magazine and also ricochet another three bullets at the nearest enemy. So on its own this weapon is kind of mediocre it's not really the best in the game there's definitely other revolvers that might be better but with with the proper build, especially for flak, you can boost this up to become downright overpowered. As long as you continuously do critical hits, this weapon is probably going to bring you the highest damage in the game, or at the very least the highest DPS. But there is an alternative to both of these, one that I actually found to be extremely powerful, way more powerful than most people would get credit for, and I believe that at least in terms of raw damage, this is probably the highest damage dealing Jacob pistol in the game. If you were to exclude builds and just take the weapon as it is. So this is of course the dock and it has a similar bonus as the previous guns as in on critical hits it ricochets two bullets at the nearest enemy but this time around it doesn't return anything into your magazine. But one additional bonus that comes with this weapon that many people don't know of is the fact that this with each bullet that you shoot in the enemy also attaches bombs to them. So let's say you're shooting the enemy you're taking half HP off him while the bomb bombs are going to take care of it after that. And the bombs also come in with some very good damage, I've tested this both against enemies as well as bosses and it definitely deals a ton of damage. So the bonus over here is also a weapon 84% weapon damage on it, which is why this weapon is so freaking powerful. It melts everything but it also comes with that plus 100 splash damage radius which makes the bombs themselves to affect multiple enemies in an area. But in my case I got this from Troy. Troy Calypso drops it in the Great Vault, so he is an endgame encounter, but you can definitely get this from random encounters as well because this is a world drop. Now in terms of SMGs, these are the second category that I'm going to go over. I covered this in a previous video, but at least in this category I didn't find that many late game overpowered SMGs. Most of them are pretty decent, they will carry you through most of the game, but in terms of endgame content and especially melting bosses, only only a couple of these are, uh, are actually what I would consider overpowered. So I'm going to go over one example that I have and this is the Crossroad SMG. In this case I have a Hostile Crossroad which also comes as anointed and overall I really liked this Hyperion gun because it looks, it looks very beautiful, it is powerful, it has a very potent shield that can definitely save you. In this case this weapon comes in with more damage, 329 times 4. It's still a very good amount of damage because you're shooting in very fast and high bursts you can just go in tap each enemy one by one take them down and because of the high accuracy on this thing you can definitely melt those heads now going over actual assault rifles there is such a high number of them over here that I could go over but a very very good one that I found early in the game and even late game is Lucian's Call, but it comes with the same bonus as King's Call, which is critical hits return two bullets to your magazine and also ricochet two bullets at the nearest enemy. So this is essentially 
the assault rifle version of those bullets which is what makes it so overpowered so with the proper flag build you can actually use this it has really high accuracy the precision on it is definitely good and especially in the slaughter arena I have found this to behave extremely well you're shooting a huge amount of bullets and enemies with high precision and because you're aiming for those heads and constantly pulling the crits what this does is that it resets the cooldown for your fadeaway ability extremely fast Fast, you're doing a ton of damage and you're also making a lot of them to ricochet as well as coming back into your magazine so it's kind of like a perpetual damage dealing machine very high rate of fire very good damage but I am pretty sure that this is also a world drop because it, it dropped in the early game for me as well but as long as you're doing some of the end game bosses you will eventually get this as well now another assault rifle that I would qualify as quite overpowered especially against bosses is the Alchemist. This is a Torg weapon and uh, I, I call this actually the popcorn machine because this is exactly how it sounds like. So what this does is that you're shooting about 16 bullets in the enemy, it sticks some bombs into him and once you reload your weapon it will detonate all of that for some really awesome damage and you can actually melt bosses in just seconds just using this but maybe the downside over here is that you kinda have to sacrifice some of your health and shields in order to pull that off so as you're shooting more than a magazine can carry you are going to sacrifice some of that health and shields that you have to deal more damage but with flak and level 50 with the build that I have I found that to be more than manageable this drops from the devourer but there's a couple of other enemies in there that can drop it as well such as the guardian in the floating tomb so uh, it can it can drop from both of these it's just a matter of getting lucky now in terms of shotguns again this is one of the better categories in the game there's a number of weapons here that are just downright OP this over here the cocky flacker or just the flak um, this is probably one of the most OP weapons in the game on its own without any buffs without any builds to support it and that is because of the way it functions so even though it is listed as a legendary shotgun it can increase those very nasty explosions one after another kind of like a bombardment so what makes this overpowered is the almost 4,000 damage that it has the 252 plus splash damage radius and the fact that it consumes like 5 ammo per shot so it's those 5 explosions that uh, make it so OP. I've tested this against literally anything in the game and it just shreds everything maybe the only downside is that you kinda need to angle it right you have to keep your distance a little bit because it can also damage you so you can also one shot yourself if you are not being careful this is another random drop that I got I believe from uh, the grave ward in the floating tomb but uh, yeah it can also drop from Tyrene the destroyer from Troy himself now the final items that I am going to cover there's a couple of them in here that I found to be dude just broken one of them is the health rerouter this is a world drop this can drop really easily again from Tyrene and uh, this brings the highest damage bonus in the game when fully charged the next shot drains 50% of your shield to deal 120% damage amp and return as health so this is an overall amazing amazing shield over here to have that bonus 120% is just OP you're shredding everything especially if you're using a high damage dealing gun um, the first shot in your magazine is going to be really high as far as grenades go I have found a few ones that are actually pretty good I'm not going to go over the pipe bomb uh, that, that is most probably going to get fixed at some point I kind of want to go over something that keeps its functionality as it is and in this case I will go over the sticky quasar this is of course a variant of the quasar grenade and it can also drop as a non sticky one but the sticky one is especially nasty so it deals 4000 damage electric damage per second with a 56% chance but it also chains through the enemies it stuns them it's just all around so amazing it's also a longbow grenade so once you do that this sticks to them it chains them all it deals a ton of damage staggers them it's an overall very good one to have and it also melts shields in case you're having problems with those now as far as the artifacts go there's a number of them that are actually very powerful but the one that I'm using with my current build is the last stand Ora idol it temporarily gives invulnerability when health drops below 50% 
this will save you on a number of occasions, the cooldown also seems to be really low and I was lucky enough to get one with a plus 40% magazine size as well as a nice regeneration rate of 149 health per second. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, a thumbs up on it would definitely be super appreciated. Let me know down below if there's any other powerful weapons that you found and in the meantime also don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell and I'll see you guys in a bit.